Oh, you like that? You like to see how I came? You see how I came through? Just uh, I am here. Got the plugs. I got the plugs. Always, absolutely. And you. What's up? And you, the mother freaking Aaron Bryant is in the building. If I had a studio on this, honey, they'll be clapping so I just go for my cup. How are you? I'm doing great, mama. Definitely. Thank you for the introduction. So it still, oh, it, it still it. throws me off it when really I get that type of introduction. It definitely. Really does. Absolutely, it does. He's so humble. It's the Aaron Bryant, but yeah, you know. Just yeah, yeah that's, be, that's your name and stuff, but. Just to be referred to as that in real <laughs> yeah. life, it's completely uh -huh. different. It changed the game for me right now. Well, so. speaking of the Aaron Bryant, tell us who the Aaron Bryant really is, really oh, are. Man. You just. What is, who is, yeah. how are. Um, I, I mean, honestly, like if I give it to you point blank, like uh, the Aaron Bryant is definitely a work in progress. You know, myself, yourself, I think everybody included should just be continuously working on themselves. You know, everything we do is a teaching experience and it's life lessons that are learned. So I'm out here trying to work on myself spiritually, mentally, physically, try to work on the body, the physique. Hey, everything hey, is right. Hey, I don't hey. know about spiritually and all that because I don't, you know, I, but the physically, oh, yeah. I can see a And it's. <laughs> Beautifully. Um, so you mentioned all of that. So what are some of your core values? Um, well, definitely. I mean, some of the things that I entail that I got going on, just a little bit about myself. Uh, first of all, I'm from New London, Connecticut, and my hometown is everything. I, I put that on the map. I'm going to put New London on the map. So if nobody's ever heard of New London, Connecticut, Aaron Bryant is coming from New London, Connecticut, and that's, you know, I give a great deal back to my community. Um, a couple other things about me. I'm all about my family, my friends, my support system is huge in my life. I'm a man of faith and belief, and I appreciate the love you show based on the physique and the good looks, but one of the things I'm trying to, you know, really entail in body is to be more than just a handsome guy, good looking, you know, nice eyes, whatever the case right. may be. But so, I think that's what makes you such a beautiful person. See, people think, you know, it's always the outside, and that's little pretty, you know, an attraction to people, but once you get to know them and you see their heart, and you can tell that they're a genuinely good person, like... I can tell just from us sitting and talking, you know, pre-interview, and I can tell you have a great heart, and that's what makes you just such a great package. You no, know, I'm trying to be a light being. I am trying to spread my love and bless the community with whatever it is that I have to offer. God-given abilities, talents. Um, we spread love, and that's that's huge and, yeah. and part of who I am. Spread so. love. That's the new English way. We're gonna take it from Brooklyn. Just Isn't it though? You know, give it to him. <laughs> give him a little bit. So, what's what's your passion behind this hustle? What is my passion behind this hustle? So what fuels my hustle? What, what motivates what me? What sparks you? I mean, I'm, I'm really trying to feed. So if you ask me what motivates me, what do I do and who I do it for? My family first, first and foremost. Like I said, my support system has been awesome. Um, through my upbringing and my education, uh, I didn't tell you this, but I do have a bachelor's degree from the University of Connecticut. I have a master's degree from Bryan University. So education is important. Um, play professional football and now aspiring to do a lot of things as an actor, as a model, and as a musician. So um, those are the things that I'm doing to hustle right now, and I'm doing it for, again, my mother, my brother, all my family and friends out there. So. And I bet they are so proud of you. So oh, proud of you. Definitely. We're trying to make them proud. <laughs> I mean, We're but you're doing make. that. So is this, what, what will be, because you mentioned so many things, so many accolades, Okay. What is your career choice or what will be your career choice or is everything that you just mentioned all wrapped in one? Um, I'm really trying to entail it all in, in terms of an entertainment package, so to speak. You know, I feel like becoming a great actor is going gonna, is gonna to advance us as a model. You know, and, and being a musician is going to allow me to express myself as I come to develop myself. Being an athlete, formerly playing professional football, you don't have a lot of opportunities to really express yourself. Right. You know, a lot of these athletes out there, you know them by what? Their jersey number and their helmet. So now I'm trying to be not only a face, but I want the world to know who I am. So through my music, through my acting, and through my modeling, I'm trying to show you guys who I really am out here. Now you mentioned football. Mm -hmm. I mean, how tall you are would have went with basketball, but here I go judging again, <laughs> you know, looking at a person and thinking I know them. Well, it's funny you say that because <laughs> I'm at the University of Connecticut, so my school has been known historically for bringing championships back for basketball right. program. And I'm 6'4", like you said, so right. when I'm walking around campus, everybody's like, oh, you must play basketball. But, um, you know, we did some great things in football as well. We got some uh, Big East championships while I was out there, so. Yeah. Got a little ring. And I weighed 240 at the time, so it was a little bit different. So what happened with the football uh, that you didn't go that route or whatever? Because I heard you say, you know. Definitely. You know, it's nothing, um, it's nothing that I didn't go that route. Um, I played football since the time I was five years old. So football carried me in a lifelong journey for 21 years. 
I was 26 years old and I take a look at, I got my health, I got my, you know, my intelligence is there. Um, we're just gonna, if there was anything else that would pull me away from that passion, then I would further develop those and help me develop more as a being. Mm -hmm. So really, like I said, being able to express myself on the music, um, part of the music that I'm doing right now, through my modeling, through my acting, is all something that I'm looking to just bring more to the Aaron Bryant. Yeah, I heard, I heard a track you had. Which one was that? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Y'all don't have me talking on this again. Stop, 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 so okay. again, Gentleman Quality Style, South Woody Beach is a fun track though. Like, it you know, is. Sex appeal is everything right now. Especially down here Especially in Miami. Miami. You know, and, and, and Miami has gotten away from that that flavor that they used to have. Yeah, it was just hot. You talking about Miami Vice just coming out with Yes, I'm talking about that. Uncle Luke. I'm talking about Trick Dad. I'm talking about Trina back in the day. Come on. Come on. And I love them all, honey. I love them all. Fix my hair. Get this back. Right. right. I love them all. Definitely. Make sure you, yeah, cheekbones on fleek, right? Cheekbones on fleek. Cheekbones, we, we gonna call it fleek bones. Fleek bones, you heard that. Heard it first right here, Miss Love. She's official. <laughs> and She's you are official. Too, look at, I mean, look how you, you're giving me this. You, we talk about Miami, but you're giving me the Hamptons right now. You look so great. You, you put like it together. You like how we put this together tonight? Oh, okay, I can't give all the credit. I oh, okay, okay. All the credit, so. so who do you go to for your fashion? I mean, me personally, I'm very simplistic in the way I dress and the way I style myself. So it's usually just jeans, either it's a dark wash or a light wash, white t-shirts, and I've been big on Air Forces. Okay. Very simple, clean cut guy, you know, from up north Connecticut. I might throw in a fitted cap every now and again. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely- when you have I'm, to do it big, though. When I have to do it big. When you have to do it big, when you have to- Who do I go to? Who do you go Who's to? Who's my go to? I actually have a stylist that I'm working with right now. This guy goes by the name of Lorraine Noel. Um, celebrity stylist, up and coming photographer. He's definitely somebody who's giving me a great sense of direction um, with my fashion and allowing me to bring out the qualities and, and what I'm trying to express through my fashion. Right. So as you can see here, it's a little bit of gap where we got going on. So, so he gives you, you he, he can look at you and tell the type of look you're going for and just perfect it and put it together. Oh, definitely. When you spend some time around quality people, you know, you get to learn each other, you know, figure out what it is that that person is about and where they're trying to go, which direction they're trying to go in. Um, one of the biggest thing is appearance is everything, mm -hmm. you know, and, and again, like I said right. before, I was always in uniform, you know, I wear my lights and little tights, <laughs> you know, we got the shoulder pad and the jersey on, I got a helmet on, but you were looking like did. everybody else, so nobody like did. everybody else, right. exactly, so how do you differentiate now? And style is, you know, something that I'm coming to take a lot of passion into. Ray gave it to you, baby, one time, <laughs> one time and in this, Ray. in this industry, and you meet so many people, and you have your celebrity stylist, so with celebrity stylists come celebrities. And you know, we aspire to be that one day. But who are you looking? Who do you look up to in this industry? Who do you follow your inspiration? It's funny because there's so many different people I could touch on. You know, me trying to be a, you know, not trying to be, but being a musician, an actor, a model, there's so many different people I could really reach out right. to and look to for inspiration. And I do, honestly. But um, one name that I really feel. I take a look at their career path and what they've been able to achieve um, is Dwayne Johnson. You know this guy? You might have heard of him before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he, he, does that. he does that to the ladies. Oh, yeah. Look, he does that to the ladies. You see what he does Call to the ladies. Call me wrong. Call me wrong. I know him personally. I'll put you, I'll yeah, put you yeah, put him in a good word. Yeah. Take his phone and put my phone on me and then give it back to him. There you go. I'm going to send a little Snapchat. Yeah, this one right after we get out of here. <laughs> But definitely, I mean, I, I, honestly, I take a look at uh, what he's been able to achieve and accomplish in terms of being a collegiate football player, trying to make it to the NFL, um, leaving there in show business and going to the WWE, creating a name and a character for himself, and now he's in five or six major motion pictures right. here. You know, he's doing Fast and the Furious, Hercules, um, a couple other ones right. out there. Great Game movies. Game. Yeah, good movies, solid movies. And he's develop, developing himself as an actor throughout these movies, and you can see the progression in that. So that's something I, I'm really aspiring to do. Um, collegiate football, professional football, now in the acting and modeling world. Um, I'm working on three major uh, independent movies right now. And let so, me get this on camera. Am I going to be in one of those three major movies? Because when it's on this camera, you can't take it back. I can't take it back. <laughs> hey, listen, so we're putting this on wax one Put time. On Definitely we're going to feature Miss Lowe in Aeon, the up and coming <laughs> movie for 2015. That's a movie that I'm co writing, co directing, and lead acting in. So I got at least a good 20 minutes out of an hour and 20 Ooh, minutes. I get 20 minutes. You get at least 20 minutes. <laughs> not 15 and a half, not 16. I got you for 20 minutes. On camera. On camera. See, on camera. we're not going to edit this part. I'm keeping this. That's the receipt. The receipt's going right. <laughs> You are so oh, crazy. No, you are hilarious, so. I can't This is fun every time we get together. It's, it's always beautiful every time we get together. Yeah, 
we link up. Definitely, absolutely. It's a blessing. To now, be what are some of the, we talked about your quotes? We talked about what are some mm-hmm. of the quotes you live by? Your quotes that you made up that you you know will put on a T-shirt if you had to. Something that <laughs> the Aaron Bryant has well, hashtag, to say. You know that, that you would hashtag. All right, so I got two for you right okay. now. Okay, so the two things I'm going to give to you is created this in 07. All right, this is back when I was crying and working out for the NFL, but it still applies. It's timeless. It's timeless. Okay. Follow me. So it's work hard to deserve everything you come by. Every step of the way, you have to show up. You have to put in work. They say there's no days off out here, though. It's not. There's because no days off Everybody out here. is trying to get that spot. Everybody's after your spot. And you talk about, you know, in this industry, there's competition. No, there's competition everywhere. And you are your own competition. So you got to be the best version of yourself every step of the way. And don't, and I love that quote because people will always try to make you feel bad about what you have or what you accomplish. And, oh, this, this, that, and the third. Listen, mm-hmm. we all have the same Talk 24 to. hours. You Talk. understand what I'm saying? So what you do with Talk yours, to. if you're going to sit on that and be on my page and just talk about me instead of making it work, then that's on you. But we all have the same 24 hours. And what like you, you said. to better your situation. Right. You're trying to bring the next don't person. Don't be mad at me. So get on that quote again. Work hard and deserve everything you come by. Right. Every single little thing that it and is. And he hashtag that. We got no hands out out here. We're not looking for hands out. Mm-hmm. We're working for us. You got to get it. Now, you what's know? the second one? I'm going to put that on the shirt. The second, yeah, we're going to put that on the shirt. <laughs> we got the shirts that's already in the works. So we got that you know, creative design working on that right now. But, um, right, your style is a little ray of getting that together for us. Hey, ladies, you're working on that. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little cut, be cut. Just shout out Lorraine Noel. Make sure y'all follow me nice on one. Instagram, Twitter, at Lorraine Noel. Yes. Do that then. Yes! Definitely. All right, but the second one I got for you is, is, is a nice little abbreviation. So it's dare, excuse me, um, desire, dream, believe, and achieve. You know, so you come up with the acronym is DDBA. You know, so those are the things that, and it's like, you know, coming up and you feel like, Oh, I want this mansion, I want this car, I want these toys out here. Now, I've never been a man of material objects, and that's never been the one thing that drives me. I just want to be the best version of me that I can be. Right. But if you desire something, if you truly desire it, there's no fault in that. There's no harm. And what's if the you sense of dreaming it, if you're not going to dream big? Exactly. If you're not going to see yourself in that you mansion, if you're those not going to see yourself in that Maserati getting out there all black with your Brazilian I'm in the Audi R8 right now as we speak. You know like, I'm in the driver's seat. There's no and don't be mad. Absolutely. I want not. what I deserve. Absolutely. And what I work hard. And it's out there in abundance for us. It's an abu- abundance is a key word right now. Like 2015. Hashtag you that. understand that word abundance? Like it is here for us in abundance. And you said in 2015 that's the key 2015 word. 2015 is the so key word. So what do you have going on this year for you in 2015? Oh man, like just you just took me somewhere <laughs> right now. Like, we just took it because there's so much going on in 2015. I'm so excited about it. Like I was home for the holidays, and I just, I, I, honestly, it's terrible because you want to spend time with your family, but right. I couldn't wait to get back to my passion and pushing my work out here. Um, I have a music project that I'm working on right now, so that's uh, GQS, is Gentleman Quality Style is the name of the group, and, you know. Free and chivalry bag. Listen, Ma, listen, listen we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna change the game right this now. This is why. We're going to change the game why. right now. I love it every time I get, because, no, seriously, not only is he a beautiful person on the outside, on the inside, too, he's opening up, you know, the doors, you know, he's showing me that shiver ain't dead, he ain't just scared, but <laughs> you guys are bringing that back. Definitely, that's something we want to tell. We want all men to, you know, positive role models for, for, for young adults, for grown men, for the children. Everybody, there's nothing wrong with being a gentleman. You know, every every step of the way. You know, you treat these women right there. That's just what I've right. always been about. Well, we have to give them something to respect. We have to respect Absolutely. ourselves yeah, first definitely. in order for them to respect us. But you give respect, you get respect. Exactly. You know, and when you carry yourself with that confidence, you demand respect. You know, so that's something that we all have to do. Right. We all have to carry ourselves with that with that prestige. You know, we are all beings out here. But you, you know what you put in. You know what you're doing every day. But it's not everybody else does. So you communicate that to them. You know, so. Um, that's definitely the music project. ETA is estimated time of arrival. We got a 13 tape mixtape project that's coming out. It's gonna be awesome. Um, that's myself, Aaron Bryant, with my boy Fetty Fave on the track. Like, you know Fetty. <laughs> you know Fetty. Oh, when I say some. I know Fetty, I know Fetty. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So aside from the music we got going on, I have three independent films that I'm working on right now. Um, a on the web series. Um, that's co-directed, co-written by myself and my partner Katana Malone on that. Okay. It's a great project. We shot the trailer for that. That's going to be airing and filming in 2015, probably beginning in March. Um, I have Blue the Film, which is another project, and then Frat Boys, which is something that... I hope it's 
supposed to be I'm, there. I'm, 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 I listen. did not get the message. I promise you, the same media group. Look, I did not get the message. Inbox me. I'm on Facebook. Sure. I'm on Facebook more than I am in mine. That's a shame. But I mean, so, so inbox we me. We missed out on that. Yeah. We got a couple projects that we're gonna Great. work on. So don't worry about that. Um, aside from that, 2015 is gonna hold a lot. I definitely plan to do a, a, a great deal. Um, I just signed to Wilhelmina, New York recently. I've been with Wilhelmina, Miami for about a year now, and 2014 was awesome. Um, I definitely have a lot of print and editorial campaigns with some major designers coming up this year, so uh, be on the lookout for that. I've done 2015, love. Just a great catch. So besides hey. the modeling and the acting, what do you do that people probably don't know about or they don't see? Um, some of the things that go under the radar, you know, is, is just the thing that we do out of the kindness of our heart. It's genuine. And it, it's things that we, you know, we feel obliged to give back to because somebody was there to do it for us. Right. You know, as a young, uh, as a young kid coming up, when I was playing athletics, there was guys in my community that would come out and they would coach and they would put their, their time and their volunteering on the line. You know, so who am I to not right. give back? You know, so um, right now I have a, a project that I'm working on right now. It's called A Chance to Change. And what that is, that's a clothing drive for the underprivileged, unfortunate people who have been out of the workforce, um, people who have lost and lack self-confidence. And what we want to do is we want to take donations nationwide. You can follow that. It'll be on social media coming up. All right. Um, that's myself and my, my team, you know, uh, Lorraine Noel, Katana Malone, Fetty Fave. Everybody's going to be involved in this project. And we want to take donations nationwide and we want to put together interview ready suits to help people get back into the workforce. Really? And it's all good. about, again, appearance. Yeah, looking good, feel good, go in there and knock it right on out. Another Speaking of looking good, you are looking awesome tonight. Don't do that. Uh, don't, let me, don't, let, me don't let you know. You don't gas awesome me up. Right but keep, keep going. Don't gas uh, me up. Give me that fleet bone. Give me a little bit more of that fleet bone. So, definitely. Um, okay, right. So, yeah, you know. Can you gas me up? Like, like I can model, like, like you, like. Like, I could be on. Oh, we, with were, we were killing them selfies earlier. We were killing them selfies earlier. And you got the smiles down, too. You got the smiles down. See, uh, We've been working on the smiles. That's, that, that's that America's Next Top Model like, language. I'm going to give them the smiles. It is the America's Next Top Model language. And that's another project for 2015. See, that's why you know it all. Like, that's how you know the language. Cause Lo, I told you, there's so much going on this year. But right now, I'm currently in the process of being auditioned and casted for America's Next Top Model. I submitted my, my videotape for that. If you guys could actually go on to YouTube and search for Aaron Bryant, Cycle 22, America's Next Top Model. If you guys could support, like, share, comment on that, man, it would be much appreciated. Um, the video was awesome. We had a great time shooting that down in Bayside, Miami. Heard great feedback from the casting director. Tagged Tyra in a couple of Instagram posts. <laughs> I'm waiting for her to get back to me, but she's going to get back to me. She will. She's going to get back to me. Look, oh, y'all got to make sure he win. If he don't, definitely. I'm going to be real upset. Definitely. So, uh, you know, uh, you know that's going on right now. And then and then coinciding at the same time with America's Next Top Model in that competition right there. Actually, make sure I follow the social media, too. Make sure it's, it's at the Aaron Bryant on Instagram, on Twitter. And that's going to help me get my fan support right for America's Next Top Model so they can see what we have going on, what we've been working on. And speaking of America's Next Top Model, when you turn to the side a little bit, yeah. you kind of gave me a little dumb Benjamin. You get a that little a lot? A little, a little who? Oh, man, yeah. yeah. Oh. You get that a lot, though? I do, honestly. I can't, I can't help it. I was actually out in L.A. recently. I went into the modeling agency, you know, and, and you know, I seen them up on the wall and, you know, a couple people looked at me, but hey, I'm comfortable in my place and I say another right. good looking man, I give credit where credit's due. Much success to everybody out there, but I know that when, you know, we step into this, into this realm, it's going to be the Aaron The Aaron Bart is the Aaron where it's at, exactly, definitely. Right, because so. as you move forward, you probably know you're going to hear that a lot, and, yeah. but like you said, you're confident, you know who no, you they are. Give me, they give me, <laughs> they give me Don Benjamin, they give me Drake, they I've got yeah. Shamar Moore, I've got a variety yeah. of things, so. You bring your light skin back all in just one package. Did it ever fall off? If it, 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 it did, it, it, I, it, I might have missed it. I don't it, know. It did, but trying. you you really bring it back. You and Drake. I'm not okay. Okay, Drake is Drake is doing his thing. How about now? Well, you and Drake. Don Benjamin, <laughs> the Aaron Bryant, we all here. We yeah, yeah. Like, and y'all are gym, so yeah. I think the dark people probably got a little bit aggressive. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> no shade, no shade, no shade. No shade. We yeah. under the shade, but no shade. No shade. It's still I don't dark, but definitely so. Yeah, but yeah, I appreciate that comparison because, like I said, yeah, I see somebody that's having success in the industry, in the modeling, and the music, and um, you know that's everything that I'm trying to aspire to, and everything that I got going on right now as well. So let's go. So know. 
what is, as we come to the closure, you know, I really don't want to leave you. I really don't want you to leave you. You cut me short right now. You cut me short right I, now. I don't want this to be over. You understand what I'm saying? That's a, that's a, after the party is the after party. Okay. And but after the party is the after you, party. You already know. We stay turned up. We stay turned up. We stay turned up. But what will be your last word, some advice you would give someone trying to come in and to become everything that you are? Um, it's definitely, I say, uh, you know, be in it for the right reasons. You know, don't just seek the fame, don't just seek the fortune, you know, because just chasing that money will lead you down a path to destruction. True. So you got to stay balanced. You have to have a great support team around you, and I'm blessed to have, like I said, so without them, I don't know where I'd be right, right. now. That right? style is dope. Right. <laughs> Definitely. So definitely uh, stay grounded, uh, be in it for the right reasons and keep a great support system around you. And um, you know, you know that's, need, that's about it. And that's a lot that a lot of people have yes men or yes women. No, if, if my hair on this side is not right, mm -hmm. tell me. Don't I'm have me doing right. Don't have me doing yeah. a whole show right. thinking I'm cute exactly. and I'm not. I don't want the yes men. You need real people, like you said, to keep you grounded to tell you the truth. Definitely, definitely. But, you know, like I said, we was looking great on camera tonight, you know, hey, get them, get them. Fleet bone. Hey. <laughs> and I like this up. contrast. I, like, I think great. we can bring you light and dark. Right. It's, I think it's, we should, you know, heal the world, right. make this a better place. I mean, hey. we could come together as one, you understand? Know? <laughs> this is beautiful. You we don't have to be divided. We can Actually, come together, not. support each other. Together give. we stand. Divided we fall. We ain't falling though. Not at all. You, you understand fall. what I'm saying? Right. This is a force to be reckoned with. I am Stand so up. happy and so pleased I was able to secure this interview with you because you're a thank very, you. a very Appreciate busy that. person. So thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. And y'all better follow the Aaron Bryant. Right. Vote, click, share, like, you know, right. comment, right. drool, whatever you need to do. As long as we just get this word out here. So he wins his American lifestyle model. And um, I can fly out to LA. Don't forget to follow Insta Low too on the Instagram. Insta Low, <laughs> hey. Insta hey. Low is popping right hey. now in the streets. Hey. Right? At the Aaron Bright, <laughs> at Insta Low. We having a blast out there. It's been. definitely been a pleasure. Thank bro. you so much. And good luck with all you do. I'm going to see you at the top. I already know. You won. You see you every step of the way. You won. It's just. You see you every step you of the way. You won. Yeah, it's, it's 2015. This our year. We claim it right here, right now. It's it. into the universe. Signatures turn into autographs. Pull up and we use valet. Run across from the new cafe. Style look at the homies. See some people that know me. Stop through where Willie's. Now we on our way. Pool party. SLS. Too fly. Too fresh. It's GQS. If she wanna see, tell her be my guest. Cause we all stars from east to west, and it all.